Hi, this is Tom from Zerdefinals.com. I wanted to talk about two medications that are used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. These are the DPP-4 inhibitors and the GLP-1 mimetics. So to start with, I just want to go through um, a particular type of metabolic process that occurs in the body in response to food. So imagine you have a burger here and uh, that burger is eaten and enters into the intestines. The intestines actually release something called incretins and the main incretin that I want to focus on today is something called GLP-1. So in response to food, fats, carbohydrates, proteins, the intestines release GLP-1. And the GLP-1 is a very clever um, molecule it travels around the body and it sends some signals to various different organs. The first and main organ that it targets is the pancreas. And in the pancreas, it causes a rise in insulin and a drop in glucagon. Okay, so what does this mean for blood sugar levels? Well, if you have food entering into the intestines and this signal being processed to the pancreas to increase insulin and reduce glucagon, before you've even digested and absorbed that food, you're already starting to lower your blood sugar levels. So it means very good things in terms of keeping your blood sugar levels low. Now what else do incretins do? Well, they target the stomach and they reduce gastric emptying. So what does this mean? It means that when you have a very large meal entering into the intestines, the intestines send out this signal to the stomach to say, whoa, hold on a minute, slow down, let's process this a lot more slowly. So this means you had a very steady increase in glucose rather than in, in blood glucose rather than a very sharp increase. So this is good news for blood sugar levels as well. Now what else do GLP-1s do? Well they decrease appetite. So they're going to make you want to eat less hamburgers, less chips, less foods that are going to increase your blood sugar level. So all of these effects that they have mean very good things for keeping your blood sugar level nice and low. Now, we have an enemy to GLP-1s, and that comes from the cell. And on the cell membrane here, you can see this transmembranous enzyme called DPP-4. Now, DPP-4 is a bit of a bad guy in this scenario. It sits on the cell membrane of almost every cell in the body, and has an inhibitory effect on the GLP-1. So it stops GLP-1 doing all of these wonderful jobs that we want it to do, dropping the blood sugar levels. So as a result, the blood sugar levels will rise. Okay, so what can we do about this annoying little enzyme that stops all these good things happening? Well, we can give them something called citagliptin. And there's various other types of gliptins out on the market, and I'm sure you'll come across them. But what these drugs are is DPP-4 enzyme inhibitors. So they essentially block the action of the DPP-4 enzyme and allow all of these good things to happen. Now, how else can we make use of these incretins that do all these wonderful jobs for us when we're trying to lower blood sugar levels? Well, we can give synthetic versions of the GLP-1s and they're called GLP-1 mimetics. An example of one of those is exenatide. So exenatide is injected subcutaneously in the same way as insulin and you do it twice a day before meals and it has all the same effects as the GLP-1 itself. So there's a brief summary of DPP-4 inhibitors and GLP-1 mimetics. I hope that's been helpful in clarifying how these medication work. Uh, if you'd like more information, more notes, questions, uh, and a blog, visit the website at zerotofinals.com. If you like the videos, why not check out the rest of them, and you can even subscribe to the YouTube channel. So I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.